Bum, bum, bum. Sunday morning. Well, has it been a week since I've been making videos? I seem to have made an awful lot. Um, I don't seem to be getting far. So I did a quick recap this morning uh, to see why that might not be. I've kind of mentioned en passant most of the reasons I think it probably is. I mean, yesterday, the question, I'll put it in a, an easier term, why say you're on vacation and you say to yourself, when I go back to work, I'll, I'll, I'll start getting into work 10 minutes early and it never happens. It might happen, but we wouldn't be sho shocked or surprised if it didn't happen. But we don't really ask ourselves why. In the whole of this week, really, the only defence, the old defence, um, call it that, of anything, and it really wasn't even used, um, is Pyro's um, will power, and he didn't even use that, he chipped in, popped in to say hello, and I am sorry I don't talk to you Pyro, um, chipped in and talked about quantum mechanics and how that can affect things. So basically nobody even said, um, we need to perfect our use of willpower, or I need to use, confect, um, perfect my use of willpower. Which is about all our parents will have told us, wouldn't it be? Or at school, or at any time, really. Um, what do you do if you're not doing well enough? Try harder. Um, use your brain. Uh, think. What other trite nonsense do we get told? Not much really, is there? I was thinking, well, the word ignorance comes to mind, and I'm not, you know, pointing the finger and saying, I'm brilliant and you're ignorant, please don't think that. I'm pointing my finger at me and I'm saying, I'm ignorant, but I am also pointing the finger at you and saying you're ignorant, because we are ignorant, we're totally ignorant of what we're doing, why we're doing it. I mean, the inner, <laughs> it, the ancient Greeks were pretty big on know thyself, gnosis something or other, I imagine. Um, but I believe that that's, that was just a hangover, that they'd got it from the ancient Egyptians who were big into it. And then the Romans went big into it, but they carried it on. Know thyself, know thyself, know thyself to these ancient civilizations was a huge thing. It was a monster. It was what intelligence was channeled into. Thought was channeled into. Society was channeled into bigging up the people could, that could understand these things and put forward explanations and I can only think that it's uh, the Romans for whatever reason decided that religion the Christian re Christian religion would be a good idea and then religion came along and took over that question and bla basically squidged it squidged it completely they didn't want big up humans, they wanted big up God. So they said that God, I don't know what the real word is, zapped, zapped into humans a soul. I think it's at the time of birth. And it's that soul, which is the real deciding thing in a human, that can decide between right and wrong. That's how they know who to punish and how much to punish them. They, they, that soul can decide between right and wrong. And there we go. Since the Romans, 2,000 years. And I don't think we've had our enlightenment from, 
from that religious thinking of 2,000 years of that basically is all as far as you could go if you tried to go any deeper into the old um, the old ancient civilizations way of trying to work out what a human is all about um, the god botherers would cut your balls off I mean we think Shakespeare was old fashioned is it 500 years ago about and we're talking about Is it three times that? Do you say three times that or four times that to get to 2,000 years ago? Anyway, we're talking about 2,000 years of uh, societies, civilizations in the modern Western world living under um, God botherers. Um, the reason I mentioned Shakespeare is we think his language is out of date sort of thing. But then you've got another 500 years, another 500 years, another 500 years back and all that language has been created using, and it had to use, the God idea that, um, that God puts souls in people that can choose the difference between right and wrong. And it's presumably this, the, the soul that uses the, the willpower or something. I don't know. Maybe that's a slightly more modern thing. I, I don't know. But what I'm saying is our entire language is based on God bothering nonsense. So it's very hard, basically. Another thing that we've touched on this week is the stories. We're so big on stories. I, I could, you can see it in comments, how, how itchy people wear. And I, I have to extrapolate from comments because there aren't that many. But people, I'm sure you could think yourself, you were pretty happy to tell me about windows and why it might crash and why it might not crash. But didn't have any stories at all about the workings of the human brain. You just don't have the stories. You don't have, maybe don't even have the language to create the stories. And I don't, you know, in these videos, I'm totally struggling to um, create an interest let's say because there's no base interest most things happen on um, there's a, a base interest of st a story base interest and then people develop on that and it becomes an argument a discussion and the brain loves it it just chews on this story let's face it most all of this story stuff is nonsense but as I think I have admitted in this week this story nonsense is absolutely essential for living a prosperous and happy life. You basically have to do it. And it's, I think we've developed knowing so much that we have to do it that we don't even have to do it anymore. We just naturally do this storytelling nonsense all day long, in, in inside and out. We just blither on with this nonsense of stories which comforts everybody when when you're doing all this all this um, story interaction stuff everyone's comforted because you just grow up understanding how far you can push it in the storylines and how much it keeps people comfortable if you keep within storylines and people just do it naturally and it just flows Every, everyone around here you everyone will just go and flow out these stories with people and uh, there's a book called stroking and it's just stroking um people go around stroking each other that we don't like um uh, apes or something we don't go picking nits out of each other we we stroke each other with language we use expressions we use facial intonation we smile we do all the right things we're just stroking each other to keep each other uh, content and comfortable and we do this all day long and it really doesn't matter what the stories are being said they're just really interactions that say I'm a safe individual you're a safe individual you think I'm a safe individual that's very good now we move on 
but it gets absolutely I mean it, there are specialists in fields to to work out what drugs will work on uh, what people at what circumstances all right and um, to work out what engine will be needed to get better fuel consumption or something so we have the experts that do the experty thing but there doesn't seem to be much crossover if you try story storing um, the professional facty things in general conversation it's not acceptable it's not acceptable I, I thought of doing this when I was coming up and I don't know that it'll work nigger 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 niggers niggers them niggers can you notice how this part of your brain let's say goes absolutely berserk at that it goes into confusion one department's following another department I'm getting nigger I'm getting nigger. I'm getting nigger too what should we do about it? I, don't, I don't know call the thingy department oh, a, no I don't know nigger no, I, I don't know what to do what to say call a story department put out a story that we don't like it or something or nigger, or nigger. shut it down we, it's it, I thought it might be something that would send your brain into nigger nigger throw your brain into a confusion that you might be able to sense and feel and it's this sensing and feeling and the whole reasoning behind it and what's going on I'd be quite convinced is what the ancient Egyptians the ancient Greeks and the ancient Romans were trying to get at what's going on in the human brain And I think they definitely would have got there, or they would have got so much further if 2,000 years of Christianity hadn't interfered and just squelched absolutely everything. We don't have a language, we don't have any storylines to discuss what might be going on in what could be called an adult way. We don't have any adult way of discussing the inner workings of a human. We can set, talk about anger management or um, being jealous of things and all these external appearances of what the brain is doing but how and why and what the brain is up to well, leave it to the white coats leave it to the white coats because out here in storyland we do not have the language we have nothing we're just bereft of information about what a human being is know thyself hasn't been in vogue for over 2,000 years we are so manifestly ignorant on the subject we know so much about so many things but actually what we are as human beings we know a pitiful little amount I mean it's it is really shocking how ignorant we are on this subject of what we are surely there's something terribly wrong but th I don't think there's anything I can do to even kick off a conversation because as soon as the words get going they get going on this side and all we get really is stories 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 story. totally understandable we just get stories because we don't know the facts we don't know the facts I can point to you things that are steamingly obvious like this the eye thing but you've got not enough I've given you facts what I think are facts but you've got no stories to wrap them up to explain them and you won't be able to invent those stories yourself because we invent so many so few stories ourselves we just generally rely on the stories we get from other people and then just polish them a bit or pull little bits off and push them then then push them forward it's
it's not a surprise really how YouTube works, how the television works. We've uh, I discussed HBO with somebody in comments, and and that's quite a it's a, a, a storyline that I think most people can. It is HBO, isn't it, that make Game of Thrones and things like that, and made um, well made lots of these kind of absolutely gripping bits of television. <coughs> well, it's not even television anymore. It can be get got through sorted other mediums but always appearing on a on a screen um, call it television and politicians they have dug up I mean mo even in Storyland you will have come across Adam Curtis and his um, I've forgotten the name of the advertising man in the early 20th century who is a relation of Freud it's a story you'll probably know that um, and they started basically on working on the basics of what Freud thought the human brain was up to which must be well dodgy bits of information quite frankly I think those people are mainly nutters but even using that sort of information or understanding from Freud that the brain can be manipulated even if no Freudian actual psychology was used the advertisers started now we've got these HBO things that employ um, experts in storytelling types that know how brains are um, addictively attracted to st certain storylines and how you have to balance the storyline out with certain amount of this emotion certain amount of that emotion certain amount of the other emotion wrapped up in a bigger box which is this which it, it's, it's crafted and of course politician stuff now it would be ridiculous if we thought that politicians weren't getting the old advertising and the new HBO ways of doing things and uh, hitting that out in short bursts that they know will generate stories which should work for them I think what I'm saying is there are sections of society which are using not so much know thyself but know your public, know your punters, know your customers, know your voters and are using it extremely effectively but on the other side there's the customers, the, the clients, the voters aren't doing anything to arm themselves with what they are in reply we are being used by them who are using information but we are um, disarmed because we have nothing of ourselves to know anything about ourselves to protect ourselves so I think probably these people are just getting the right story to manipulate the hell out of us and there's nothing that we can do with it do about it because we are so absolutely and totally ignorant of what we are we've got stories about what we are and what I touched on yesterday unfortunately most of those stories are how good we are at this that and the other when the fact is we are actually pretty damn terrible at most everything and can be easily manipulated by people who understand what's going on but we won't listen to what we might be at all because it seems that from a jumping standing start people like me maybe just can't generate the stories to get anybody interested they will stick to the old 
nonsense ideas that they are basically special. That's what it always, always comes down to. They are special. If it's the special I in them that's special, there's something always special about them. And they fear that the fact might come out that that they're not that special. But I'm sure if we really looked into the brain, we could appreciate the beauty and wonder of it and how it does work. Yes, we'll probably take what Freud might have called a bit of an ego kick in the balls. But in the end, we'll know more. And I can't help thinking that knowing more is always worthwhile. Especially if they know more. But I can't see I can't see how to um, generate any story interest in um, the non magnificence of human beings, individuals. Not surprisingly. Um, there's very little interest in it. So we'll leave the field open to those that do take an interest in it and can generate some stories to manipulate everyone's brains. We'll leave it to them. 2,000 years kind of wasted. But then it probably wouldn't be. Because even if we knew so much more they would probably dominate the information anyway and use it for their advantage because it was ever thus that's it for the Sunday sermon probably see you next week bye